So we're given that the representation of one over one minus x is this summation. And also we are given the convergence from negative one to one, not including the endpoints. Uh, now it says convergence in this, which really means that x has to be between negative one and one. So another way to write that is the absolute value of x has to be less than one. That's the same as negative one is less than x is less than positive one. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is rewrite this series, except we need to replace, uh, wherever we see an x, we're going to replace it with 6x squared. And the second thing we're going to do is multiply by x squared. So first of all, I'll just rewrite this. Now, first thing I'm going to do is take the x squared outside. And... Uh, this way it looks a lot closer to this. What's missing, what's different, is right here, instead of an x, we have a 6x squared. So I'm going to write the summation version, except I'm going to replace the x with 6x squared to the n power. So again, all I did is I just replaced that x and that x with 6x squared. All right, now we're going to multiply the x squared into the series. So we have x squared, 6x squared to the n. There's a few different ways to deal with this algebraically. Um, let's see. We could bring the, we could just enter the answer like this. That would be one option. Uh, another option would be x squared. You can distribute, because this is a product, you can distribute this power to both of those. So we have 6 to the n x squared to the n, 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity, and let's see, we have an x squared and an x squared, so I can combine these two together. So that's, uh, and I'll write my six first, six to the n. So I have x squared raised to the n plus one power. So that'd be another way to write it. And of course, powers of powers are products, so you could write it x to the, we have two n plus one which is 2n plus 2. So a whole lot of ways to write it. You can write it in whichever way that you want, whichever way makes the most sense to you. Okay, so that's gonna be summation right there. Now we're gonna to have to determine interval of convergence. So before the original, was absolute value of x is less than one. And it can't equal one because we had to exclude the endpoints here. It can't equal negative one or one. So that's why it's just less than one. We're gonna play the same trick we did before. We're gonna replace x by six x squared. So what do we get? Absolute value six x squared less than one. Luckily, our x has an even power on it, so the uh, absolute value doesn't matter. Um, so we can just write it as 6x squared is less than 1, because x squared is always going to be positive. So divide both sides by 6. Square root. And we do not get the equals in there. We just have less than square root 1 sixth. Of course, you could write that as 1 over square root 6, but either way... It's not important which way you write it. Uh, that will be your, uh, let's see. And this will still be absolute value of x is less than that. Uh, so negative one over square root six, comma one over square root six. This will be the interval of convergence. That's the uh, minute and the max right there, the negative square root and the positive square root there, the min and the max. 
Are, are, do we include the endpoints? No, they're not going to be included because they were not included originally at the very top. So it would be open on both sides.